Greetings humans, this is Aramis from Archil Archives, and today is episode one of Aramis Does Art. So, I got these things here, uh, very generic alcohol markers. I really wanted to try alcohol markers, but I didn't want to spend money on Copics, and even though Hoo markers were a bit expensive, I got these online, a pack of 30 for $7.99. So, pretty reasonable for trying it out. I'm gonna be perfectly clear. I was a bit excited to try this out, and I already did a, a drawing, so this is not a first impression. That's this one. However, I noticed that when I swatched the ink out on on cardstock, the colors looked better on the cardstock. So I decided that I am going to try them out on cardstock and then give my thoughts. So I'm going to be doing two drawings. I'm going to do two different kinds of two different techniques. I don't know how this is going to work, because I'm a noob when it comes to alcohol markers, but I have the swatches, this drawing and this drawing. So this is Katai, and this is Ryuji, he has fire powers, and his spirit animal is a dragonfly. So what I'm going to do is go straight in with the marker on Katai, and then try something a bit different on Ryuji to see if I can get more of the flame effect. My colors are also... The, the colors are a bit limited, so... We'll see how it goes, we'll see how it goes. Okay. So, using the... Color chart, I'm going to pick out... This beautiful man's colors. Uh, the problem is, his suit is supposed to be khaki, but I don't have... Khaki. So we're gonna have to make it brown and oof. I like these two greens and I'm trying to figure out which one should I use. By the way, the covers do not match the colors because like that's the cover and this is the color. It looks a lot different. But yeah, we'll go with these two. And I'll go with a darker brown for his hair. And his... You know what? Let's just go with this. Let's go with this. So... First things for this... Uh, these have no brush. So... There's that. I can't say anything about the brush. Uh, the marker I used to outline this drawing is the... Mr. Pen Fine Liners. I like Mr. Pen products. They're cheap. Can I just like them? I don't even know if I'm coloring this in properly. Is there a special technique you use? I don't see. I've watched a lot of people drawing with using these alcohol. Well, not these, but using alcohol markers. And. I don't think there's any real way to... Any specific way to do it. Okay. It's his skin. Now, let's do his suit. It's this one, number 95. I'm gonna use a chisel tip. Now, if I have to say which medium I have the most experiences, uh, that would have to be charcoal, then graphite. I already colored out of the lines. Oh, uh, whatever. Charcoal, graphite, and then maybe watercolor. Even though I still think I am not that good at watercolor. have any like professional grade watercolors. I mean the closest I would have is the Paul Rubens. If 
anybody even considers that professional. Mainly I just use Winter Newton. Thing is, I kind of want this suit to be lighter, so I'm afraid to keep going over it and making it darker. But then I also want a very smooth blend, so I'm not sure what to do. What do I do? What do I do? Well, this is this is an experiment, so we'll just we'll just try something, see if it works. We'll just leave that. Uh, so now for this part. Okay, so his suit is held together by these kind of buckle things. And they're gold, but I didn't take out any gold yet. I also didn't take out the silver that I'm gonna use for his tie. You know, I really would have preferred to just have a lighter brown that way I didn't have to worry so much about going over the same spot. But uh, we work with all we got. I am noticing though that it is going out of the lines on its own. Like the ink spreads after you put it down on the paper. So that's a bad thing. That's not something you want, which means that the other brands don't do that. I wouldn't know. I'm just starting out. I only started drawing seriously uh, maybe like a year and a half ago. So, not too long. really my techniques aren't always there but I'm trying I'm trying this is not the shade of his shirt he has a more bluish green and his suit is supposed to be lighter but since we don't have a lighter color. Just have to be you. The actual color section isn't bad. It's just that I don't have the exact colors. I should probably just make a character that could fit these colors. Because I do like the shade of brown and I like the shade of green. I love having green. It's just not his colors. Okay, so. Now I need a grey. Let me go a silvery grey for his tie and belt. See how it bleeded into the, the pocket at the top? It's not what I want. Stand in for the gold. Get the yellow. Can't see it because the brown bled into where the yellow was supposed to be. <sighs> Just have to deal with it, I guess. And then now for his hair, I'm gonna use a brown and we're going to match his hair to his shoes. The guitar himself is a very fashionable man. He likes to dress up. And because Summer lets him pick out her clothes, Summer is the girl he grew up with, who he's also in love with. Oh. That's why she wears such dressy clothes too. She doesn't really care what she wears. So he 
Pixar's Pixar, Pixar doll. They've, they've lived together for most of their life. After their parents left them in the woods to die. And then they were kidnapped by an organization who wants to turn them into assassins. So there's that. What? I think I'm gonna give him green eyes. Yeah, that looks, looks good. And let me give this... I'm gonna make his stick, his walking stick, a darker grey. He... Th that walking stick is not for show. He physically cannot walk without that walking stick. Because he injured his leg trying to protect Summer. Summer defeated the monster though. It's, it's just a sad story with the two of them. Kinda tragic. But it's gonna have a happy ending. Promise it's gonna have a happy ending. Okay. I totally forgot to erase this part. Let's see. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oops. Oh boy. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. Um so let us grass. I guess we'll put in some grass. Really should have thought that out first. Um Let's just use the broad nib. Uh, grass doesn't have to be straight, right? Um, just color this whole part in. I feel like a child. Like, like an, an artist would have done this differently, but I'm just going straight in with color. Does, does it matter? Am I doing this right? Why is it coming out so streaky? Oh boy. You see, I was going to do a review of these markers, but then I realized nobody's gonna want to listen to a review from somebody who sucks at art so badly. And like, I have a friend who started art with me around the same time, who kind of makes fun of me because he improved a lot faster than I did. Well, then I do. And it's not for lack of effort, I'm just not artistically gifted. I'm, I'm a science person, I've always been a science person, despite the fact that I'm a writer and I want to be an artist, I am 100% science. That is where my skills lies. Math, easy. All those things, super, super easy for me. But art, not so much. You know what, let's go with a sky color, maybe. I don't know. Oh boy, this, this, is, this is not looking good. Oh, oh boy. You know what, I was supposed to make the Pillars this color. Uh, okay, that that was a mistake. Uh, and then now these stars, these two colors are gonna touch. I really should have thought this out more. You know what? Overall, it's not looking too bad. After Kitai himself, even though his skin looks really orange, doesn't look too bad. I could probably cover this up. Okay, I probably need more quotes to not make it look so uh, streaky, but yeah. Okay, it's not too bad, not too bad. It kind of sucks, but it's not too bad. Uh, let's add in a bush just to make it not look as... Awful. Am I doing this right? I think so. Do I want to do it like this? Probably not. Um, let's 
use another green and try to make it not look as awful. Oh. Let's so yes, use this one. Try to I want to not get the effect I wanted, but eh. leaving the background like that. Who really watches the background anyway? Who, who does that? Um, let's let's add in some shading onto his suit. And then let's add in some on his shirt. What color do I use for his shirt? 45? That's this one, I think. Yeah, no, this is 42. Oh, it's 42 I was using. Okay, we'll, we'll leave it as like that. So just leave it like that. Um, what, what color would do good for this? Why am I asking that? There's nobody around. Oh, well, it bled through a lot. I think that's a bad thing too, but we'll just keep working with it. Uh, you see the problem with this set is that there are not many light colors, so I think I'm just gonna try something. Let's just try something. Um, we'll make the frog gray. Make it gray. I will always be the first to admit that digital, traditional, doesn't matter. My coloring skills are worse than a child's. Because I was one of those annoying kids that thought coloring was a useless skill. So I spent my time reading history and science books and watching documentaries instead of doing coloring or playing video games. Only to realize when I'm an adult that I can get more money becoming a gamer or a coloring channel on YouTube. <sighs> I really should have spent more time practicing my coloring. I should have started coloring from the other side. I did not. You know what? I can only get better. That's, that's what I'm gonna tell myself. I can only get better. Can't get worse than this, right? I shouldn't be too hard on myself. This is only my second time using alcohol markers. I don't know what I'm doing. Even though I've watched so many... Um, speed drawings and tutorials and stuff. Still don't know what I'm doing. You know what? Because of the bleeding, it is smoothing out the streaky parts. So I shouldn't complain about the bleeding too much. And then now let's use this. I'm gonna use a broad tip. Hopefully this doesn't look awful. Okay, that is darker than I expected. Uh, much darker than I expected. Even if this turns out awful, I'm still gonna put it in my sketchbook. Because it's really nice to look back on your attempts, your first attempts at anything, seeing how bad you were and then how good you are. Because as cringy as it might be, it's still more satisfying. Well, not more, but it's still very satisfying. And again, I should have started with the other pillar, except I didn't. Because... I, I'm just not good at art yet, yet. You will see during this series me improving as an artist. Because like I said, 
there's no way to go but up. Preferably not by balloons. I hate balloons. Okay, you know what? It's not looking too bad. It's looking a bit gaudy, but... Eh. And I'm sure anybody who is skilled with using alcohol markers is watching me using the chisel nib and cringing. Watching my techniques and cringing. <laughs> and probably just not having fun. And I made a mistake right here and drew into the pillar, but let's hope nobody's gonna notice that. Except I just pointed it out. These don't have a brush nib, so I can't even tell you if I would prefer to use a brush nib over the chisel nib. But I'm not sure, you know, because generally speaking, I tend to prefer using the harder tip over the softer tip. Because I have some watercolor brush pens, and I prefer the, the harder tips ones and the softer tip ones. Except when it comes to inking. I really like inking with soft nibs and get more varied lines. You know what? I think this is done. So, how is that for a second first attempt? This is how it looks on the back. This is regular cardstock that I got from my stationery shop. Well, it's not even really a stationery shop, but... Okay, well, let's let's give the other one a try. Boo. Okay, so let's do Ryuji now. Okay, so Ryuji is Fireboy. <laughs> he his powers are fire, obviously. You can see the flames. Um which means we're gonna be using a lot of orange and yellow. So, you know what? Since we're going, since since we're experimenting, because let's call it an alcohol experiment, a whole alcohol marker experiment. Let's. You know what? I'm gonna even try using actual alcohol. Boom. I don't know how this is gonna work out, but you know what? Let's try it out, maybe. I'm not sure yet. Let's see. So, let's try putting on some yellow flus. I guess. Oh no, this is orange. No, wait. So, is it supposed to be yellow? Okay then. Let's put on some of this flus. down on his, on his pants and then let's take the red and try to do a blendy thing with it okay. uh, let's see if we can blend this out look at how yellow this top is but it's not yellow why would you do this to me Oh no, this is not blending. This is not blending. Let's, let's try the tip to tip method and see if that works. I don't even see a difference. Nope, it didn't. Good. See what? I guess you're probably thinking don't buy these markers. You know what? Maybe you're right. I have learned something though. I like the idea of alcohol markers. Because one of the reasons why I don't use markers or, well not markers, watercolor. I tend to sketch out the drawing 
and then wait like a few days before I come around to coloring it. It's because watercolors are messy. And I don't like mess. And I don't like cleaning up after. But this part of his shirt is supposed to be black, right? What? What? Oh boy, I got on my finger. Plain black would take away from the line art. I made that mistake before. And also, black just doesn't look good in general. And I'm coloring outside of the lines, and the bleeding is not helping. Look how it's just. Uh... Okay, so let's. Let's see. Oh, this was little goal. No. I bet you're wondering. Beauty? Isn't that naming dragon? Then why is there a dragon fly? And not an actual dragon. You see, that is because his name is not actually Ryuji. That's what Raven called him as a joke because she thought she was going to fight a dragon, only to find him instead, and that he's the source of all the fire. So. Ryuji is kind of like a joke. His actual spirit animal is a dragonfly. Because dragonflies are cool. And again, I started coloring on the wrong side because I'm an idiot, I guess. You know, I've seen this like, ABD art attack color with the lamest markers ever and still make them look amazing. I don't know how he does that wizardry. Because I sure as hell can't. Let's look at this mess. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, let's try a lighter yellow and see if we can get his skin to not look as awful. Some here. Uh, we'll put some in here too. This here is white, so it's not like I'm gonna be blending out much with it. Yeah, we'll just leave it like that. Uh, I guess I should put some on his skin as well so it doesn't look too unbalanced. Even though everything looks awful. And I'm not feeling good about this. Uh, let's try his skin now. Skin, skin, skin. Though I did consider just not giving him any skin. That would have been fine, I guess. Did that work? No, it didn't. Oh well. Let's just do a thing. Just here a bit. I have been practicing my hair shading, but um, it's not been going well, as you can see. We'll just leave it like that. Oh, and we'll put some gray here. Should have done red. Maybe in another. Maybe another time. And electricity just went, and it just came back. Why, why are you doing this to me? That means my internet just went too. Now I'm gonna have to wait until that comes back as well. Do you know what? I like how the grey looks on his shoe. But then I have a thing for grey shoes. So. Especially because it doesn't have shoelaces. Am I the only one who hates shoelaces? Oh, 
Okay. So he doesn't look too, too bad. It's not awful, awful. It's just kind of awful. <sighs> now, let's, let's try it. Let's try a thing here. I'm going to put a little... Oops, that's not a little, but I'm going to pretend it's a little. And then, gonna, gonna try something. I've seen people do this, but I've never tried it before. To get like a lighter tone. Although if you're gonna go through all this trouble, you might as well just use watercolor. Why, why are you using markers if you're just gonna do this anyway? Let's see, can... Well, this was a mistake. Let's see if the alcohol would blend these. Did it? Did it not? I have no idea. I don't think it did anything. Oh well, we tried something. Can't say I never gave it a try. So... Let's just try something else. That was the wrong orange I used. Oh boy. What? This is supposed to be the yellow. Oh boy. That's just not looking. That is not looking. And all the paper is ripping. I thought alcohol markers don't rip the paper. It's just it's not coming out good at all. Ugh. I'm not sure what to do about it. Good, that that looks awful. Just everything looks awful. Let me ugh, let me just do this. Like, I'm not even being careful anymore. That's just how much I want this to be over. If you're wondering why Ryuji is looking so angry, the only thing that could possibly make him this angry is if somebody tried to hurt Raven, who he thinks of as his sister. You do not touch a man's sister unless you want to die. But if you think Ryuji looks angry, Corbin would be even more pissed. You know what? I think we're just gonna leave it like that. It was a fail, but... I gave it a shot. I gave it a shot. At least I could say that. I'm gonna look back on this video like a year from now and think, oh boy, I can't believe I did that. It looks hideous compared to my old work. But I actually don't think this one came out too bad. And Ryuji himself doesn't look too bad. And I did like the original drawings and my line art is getting better. So I can't say there's no improvement at all. I just really need to work on my color theory and I probably need to get better markers. Now what, what are my opinions on alcohol markers now? Uh, I'm going to reserve my overall opinion for maybe when I try out some more markers. I will say however that I really like the idea of not having to clean up after watercolors. Because as much as I love watercolors, there's still usually a mess because it's water. Not a big mess, but the brushes need to be clean and the water needs to be thrown out and the paper towels and all of that. Um, so like this was done with watercolor. And this is Ryuji in watercolor. Ryuji came out really good. 
I love this. This was actually done with Crayola watercolors and I've never been able to replicate that skin tone. Ugh. So, this looks so nice. Corbin and Ryuji. And even just this. This I did this this morning. So, after this, I'm gonna have to say... I'd faster recommend watercolors for beginners like myself over alcohol markers. Price-wise, because I use Windsor and Newton and those were like $14 when I bought them online. Crayolas was like $800 in Jamaica, which is very expensive. I would never buy Crayola watercolors again for that price. Um, but there are other there are other brands that are good. I would say watercolors are better for a beginner because then you can mix whatever color you want from like only about 12 versus this where I don't have any good skin tones. Look, look how orange he looks. He looks so pink and the color choices... I feel like with alcohol markers I probably would have enjoyed it more if I had the right colors. But to get the right colors you have to pay a lot. So would I recommend these? Probably not. The colors are really nice. The selection is not too bad if you use a lot of bright colors in your work. If you're just doing a coloring book, these are fine. I mean, they work fine. The nibs feel firm and nice. And the ink, it's very juicy. So it's good like that, but I don't know. I think I need to practice more, which I have been doing, but yeah, that's it. So that was Aramis's first foray into alcohol markers. Let me know what you think. Um, my ego is bruised after these these colorings, so compliments are, uh, ni would be nice. Um, but yeah, it wasn't too bad actually. It was kind of fun. I don't usually color like this anymore, so it was fine. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video.